David, where have you been? I'm sorry, Ben. Traffic has been severe. Well, yeah, I'll give you that one. It has been severe. Just like a lot of our thunderstorms have been this summer. You know, I love how you mention the thunderstorms because it seems like people are confused on what really is a severe thunderstorm. You know, I thought we'd been a lot better about educating on that subject recently. Well, that seems like that's not the case, as everyone has their own definition. Well, maybe it's about time we go over those criteria one more time. I love that idea, Ben, but before we do that, let's see what some of the weather-wise Pennsylvanians have to say. Do you know, what, do you know what makes a thunderstorm severe? Like, what, what's a severe thunderstorm? Uh, lightning, extreme lightning. Ooh, thunderstorm is being severe. Um, is it the amount of rain that comes out? Or with thunderstorm though? No. Maybe the number of lightning strikes and thunder? Lightning, thunder. Is it the height of, this, of the cell, of the cloud cell? The, how high it goes up into the sky? The thunderhead? While lightning isn't always captivating and often dramatic aspect of a thunderstorm, it actually plays no role in the classification of a severe thunderstorm. Defined officially by the National Weather Service, a severe thunderstorm produces at least one of three intense weather elements. The first element in assessing the severity of a thunderstorm is often the wind it generates. The wind speeds in a severe thunderstorm reach or exceed 58 miles per hour or 50 knots, and in some cases, gusts can even surpass hurricane force. These powerful winds are capable of uprooting trees, tearing off roofs, downing power lines, and creating hazardous flying debris. Some straight line wind damage can even resemble the damage done by tornadoes, which is the second element that can make a thunderstorm severe. Tornadoes are some of nature's most violent and unpredictable phenomena, capable of producing widespread destruction in a matter of minutes, which makes it a no-brainer that a tornado-producing thunderstorm gets classified as severe. Now, David, the third and final classification for severe weather is hail. If you get hail to the size of one inch in diameter, that's the size of a quarter, or the small ice cube. Well, if that cube is severe, what about this block of ice? That might just be a world record. And to recap, the official definition of a severe thunderstorm involves certain thresholds on... Degree of wind, hail, and tornado circularity, tornado possibilities. So oftentimes, Ben, a majority of summer thunderstorms aren't really severe, but they may be very strong. Mm. And maybe even as strong as that coffee is. Well, I'm going to need some of that coffee so I can handle some of Rob's workload he has given me over the summer. Is that so? I've actually got about an hour for the footage I need you to comb through for our next weather roll feature. Hop to it. I'll take this. Oh, my. <laughs> 